from can I get a grande iced apple crisp oat milk macchiato? Uh, it's gonna be six or seven from window. Okay, thank you. getting ready for the day so I thought we would get ready together so I went to the library a few days ago and I was reading truly devious and I really wanted to get the next book in the series which I didn't actually put the second book on my TBR but I should have done that but <laughs> it's okay we're straying away from my original TBR a little bit but um, yeah, so I went to the library to see if they had the second book in the series, which is called The Vanishing Stair, and they did not have it, but I did get the second book in the Last Hours trilogy. This is Chain of Iron. This also wasn't on my TBR, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm just really in the mood to read some series. I finished reading Truly Devious. This was the perfect way to start off October. Like, I loved the Vermont setting. I loved the academic setting. It takes place at a private school. And there are two mysteries. There's one that is present day, and then there's one that is in the past. And I feel like you really don't get too many answers in the first book but it is a good start to the series. And I'm really excited to read the next book and find out what happens. And then the other book I read this week was Chain of Gold. So this follows the Infernal Devices trilogy, so I definitely recommend reading those books first. But I was a little nervous for this one because I didn't know if anything could really follow up after the Infernal Devices, but this really exceeded my expectations. Like. This is almost 600 pages and it felt like a five minute read. Like I flew through that book, hence why I wanted to get the second book. So I just loved the friendship in the story. There are four boys and they call themselves the Merry Thieves. And it reminded me so much of the Marauders in Harry Potter. And then there's like romance and there's also a ghost story which I thought was perfect for this time of year. There's just so much adventure and just an amazing cast of characters and then you also get to see the characters from the infernal devices. So I'm currently four chapters into the next book, um, Chain of Iron, and there is a wedding going on and it's a very complicated situation um, but I love it <laughs> and I'm so curious to see how it's all going to play out and I'm already so excited to read the final book in the trilogy which is called Chain of Thorns and that comes out in January of 2023. Isn't it crazy that it's almost 2023? <laughs> I don't know where this year went, but yeah, Chain of Thorns is definitely on my most anticipated book releases list for 2023. And then some other books I'm super excited for, Happy Place by Emily Henry, which comes out, I think, April 25th and I love anything that Emily Henry writes. <laughs> and it has fake dating, so I feel like that just might end up being one of my favorite books from her because fake dating is my favorite trope. So um, there's another fake dating book that I'm really excited for, which is by Sarah Adams. And I recently discovered Sarah Adams. I read When in Rome, and she just writes the sweetest, 
most wholesome feel-good love stories. So her companion novel to Win in Rome is called Practice Makes Perfect and that one is coming out I think April 2nd of next year. So I got this new blush. It's called Double Shot. I thought the packaging was so cute and it's like this shimmery pink color and this is non-book related but I have been in the biggest nesting mode does anybody else get in a nesting mode in the colder months like for some reason in autumn and winter I just want to add more decor and just make the house like extra cozy in my last vlog I talked about wanting to get some new light fixtures in our bedroom and I've just kind of I don't know it's been like snowballing from there like now I'm looking at possibly a little um how do you pronounce it rattan rattan chair um i might put it like in that corner or actually it'd be really cute in that nook area and then i've been looking at a couple of things to put in the reading room i feel like i don't know it needs something more i'm not sure what but I've just been looking online at a couple of different ideas. We've lived in this house for two years now and I feel like it's definitely coming together but I feel like there's still a couple of areas in the house that, I don't know, just needs a couple of more cozy elements to it. So, Oh, so back on the subject of books um, because that's my favorite thing to talk about. Um, <laughs> I started annotating my books about two months ago and I definitely want to annotate my copy of Chain of Gold and now I really want to buy a copy of Chain of Iron so I can annotate that as well. It is so hard to not buy books. <laughs> like I bought my Kindle so I wouldn't buy physical copies but there are some books that are just so good that you you want to own the physical copy you know so and i just got into the cassandra clare books over the summer and i remember thinking like how do people read all of the cassandra clare books like there are so many i just i don't understand and now i understand <laughs> they're just so good like the characters seem so real and i feel like historical fantasy is just so perfect for autumn i may just end up straying away from my original tbr at least a little bit because i don't know i'm just really loving these series and obviously i can't finish this series until january but <laughs> i really want to dive in to this series i think there's actually another book for this series that's coming out i think oh there is another book coming out december 27th there is book five are there five books yeah wow okay so there's truly devious and then the vanishing stair which is one that i got on my kindle and then i also have the hand on the wall on my kindle and then there's the box in the woods and then nine liars is coming out at the end of this year Ooh. okay hair is done and this is my outfit for the day it's this jumpsuit from luca and gray I got this in 2019 and I kind of forgot about it so I just love the color and I love the little floral pattern <laughs> annotating my copy of chain of gold and everything that was highlighted on my kindle i just transferred over to my physical copy so i just did some doodles i wrote down some thoughts and i also wrote down some taylor swift lyrics because there was this one scene that reminded me of champagne problems and so i started annotating back in august so it 
honestly hasn't been that long, but I thought I would share my supplies that I use. Um, so I recently got some new pens and some new highlighters. So I will link both of these down below, um, but they're both from the brand Pilot. I kind of just go into it with the mindset that it's kind of like a journal and I kind of just think of it the same way I do as my bullet journal. And I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. So I will see you guys again soon for Vlogtober episode three. Bye guys.